What up, what up, it's your boy Magneto, a.k.a. Your Money's Mine, a.k.a. My Money's Mine. Word up, fresh shop. Okay, I have an EP that's titled Fresh Out 01, and this is like my first EP. I have songs that will blow your mind, 10 songs, including Girls and What is the Meaning of Love. So the track one is the Nyama Nyama song that everybody's talking about now, but it's not even out yet on free downloads because I know Ninja. We all want to download for free. But on iTunes, you can get Spotify, um, all of those platforms where you buy your songs. We have the songs there. So I have Nyama Nyama as track one. I have my Boo as track two. I have the Go Hear What as track three. I have loads of songs and few collaborations. The beat was ready. I didn't know where he got that beat from. I just said, okay, for, for this kind of beat, I need to do something very creative. And I started thinking about the situation with Shatawale and Nigerian artists, with uh, P Square and his brother, and all of them. So I now started with P Square, Break Up, Shatawale, McMill, Lock Up, Jimmy Jack, Jump Off. And with what we're trying to use to push the EP is one minute videos for Instagram. We shoot some one minute video and post it on social media. We, the reaction from people would direct them to the EP. So we started with that one without even dropping the link for the EP yet. And the massive buzz we're getting is keeping us on our feet. <laughs> on my EP, I have Nostradamus, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Rihanna. Clap for yourself. I have songs that I would love to feature all these people I just mentioned, but too bad, we're still starting. But I have collaborated with some people, up and coming artists that are very great, that are producers, and they know the onion of what they do, especially somebody called Juiz. He made the beats for all of my hit songs, and he's on the EP with Shano Wale. Shano Wale is like the sickest song on that EP. If you listen to Shano Wale and you don't like it, throw it away your, your phone even. Throw anything there, device that isn't to listen to that song. Shano Wale is one of my favorite songs on the song on the EP, and it was produced by Juiz, and I featured Juiz on it. I have another one featuring Adams, Adams for VJ Adams Sound City. He did very well on that song. He did the second verse. It was a rap song and the Shaku Shaku beat. So he killed it. I have another. I featured some DJs on that song because I didn't want to just keep featuring artists. So I brought in DJs. I featured Larry Gaga and DJ Neptune. I have DJ Big N. I have DJ Kenny. I have all of these people on the EP. So it's a massive one. Ah, uh, it was because I don't work with artists that I don't know, so it's, I won't say it's difficult because these are people that I respect so much and they respect me too. So Adams, it was just a phone call from his office. He came to the hotel and we recorded that one. DJ began, I had to, he called me to Don Jazzy's studio and I went there, he listened to the song and we cooked up that one. Larry Gaga, he gave us a lot of drinks. It was just a fun place and we recorded that song. And I have another new one with Two Face, but Too Bad is not on this EP, but it did come as it the hot, fresh out. Nigerian entertainment industry is growing rapidly because if you, from the beginning, we had artists struggling with only one bands and trying to feed from mouth to, from how do they call it? From blood to mouth. And now we have loads of artists like Whiskey, Davido, Timaya, Two-Face Edibia, Chris Dania, people buying houses, doing international deals, collecting money, block, and if your child should tell you they want to go into music, now I don't see any parents that will be arguing with them because Nigerian music is like the only stuff keeping us on the map in the world now. Okay, before I started music, I was in school because as a Niger child, you have to complete your, your studies from primary school to university. So after my university, I ventured into music because I was rapping from school. And the fact, the reason why it took a while for me to come this, 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 this far is because I, I, I didn't grow up here in Lagos. I was in Abuja, so I was in my comfort zone. I was very comfortable where I was. I was sending my music to Lagos, sending money, but it wasn't working. But now, since I moved to Lagos, people started saying Magneto because I dropped the first song. Now, which can Kaka we never see? And everybody's like, oh my God, who's this man? And 
after all, I traveled again. I left the country for one or two family issues. And when I got back, I concentrated full time on my music. And I dropped If I Get Money Here, As I Get Money Here, Loud, Girls, Meaning of Love, and now the EP. The EP is going to change the world. That's exactly what I'll tell you guys, because my music is on fire. Fresh up, fresh up. Brother, brother. Kiss Mary, I'll kiss Chloe. I'll marry um, if for another. And since he, he don't die for <laughs> since he's dead, I'll kill her. Never have I ever used bread to eat okra soup before. <laughs> Is it fact? Never. Ever. How can a clan cram in a clean clean cram? How can a clan cram in a clean clean cram? How can a clan cram in a clean clean cram? How can a clan cram in a clean clean cram? How can a clan cram in a clean clean cram? Clean clean cram, clean 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 cram. Hey, it's already a song given. I know. Jack on the. I don't know. He get Jack. I know Ebenezer. <laughs> what up, what up? It's your boy Magneto, AK. Your money's mine, AK. My money's mine. We're dub. And keep watching your Nigerian entertainment. It's your boy. If I get money here, I know who they come out. I go build shopping mall. I go build up. Make sure I sit and take my domot. Fresh out. We're dub.